Hey everyone, I just want to do a very quick recap while uh, my lovely wife drives us home from Cardiff. Um, I finished on 470 kilos, which was a, a 16 kilo competition PB video to follow. So I'll play that now. As you can see from that video, it was it was a fairly comfortable lift. Um, so I then went for the world record, 505. I got into the knee, um, just below the knee, so a high shin, uh, and I couldn't lift it any further. So just just not quite strong enough yet. Um, but it gave me a great insight to the fact that I have the ability to do it. I am making good progress, um, you know, and two and a half weeks ago, I think it worked out to be 18 days before this contest was when I did my last heavy pull and I pulled 440 for a single and my socks slipped um, and I felt something in my hamstring. Now I kept it very under wraps. Um, for various reasons, I don't. I just wanted the people that were most important to know about it, um, to only talk to them about it, um, try and keep a positive mindset, and try and make sure I got to the competition and did my best. Um, obviously, I was quite surprised by the outcome because I did struggle for for the two weeks leading up. Um, it was a big battle. I think the biggest battle was mental, more than physical. Um, I'll show you some of these pictures now um, obviously the start and then towards the end as the bruising gets worse and it goes away so I'm just just here to just be transparent and show you what I had to deal with in the build up to this show As you can see, um, there was definitely a tear there, um, but I managed to get through it. Um, I definitely overcome the mental barrier, and who knows, it, it might have done me a favour. I came in feeling quite strong, my lifts were strong. It also might have hindered my lifts, it's hard to say, but um, I'm happy in the end. I, I won the deadlift champs, I feel like Overall, I was the strongest puller there. Um, you know, I felt like my, my deadlifts were consistently faster. Uh, I obviously moved 505 further. So, it is my firm belief, and a promise I've made to my wife, that, you know, I will have 12 months of um, prep building up to the next one. Uh, I'm not going to just stop doing everything, but I'm going to make sure I am training deadlift hard from now, um, and I'm not just going to give myself three months prep. I'm going to make sure I build on this where I am now, uh, which you know I'm probably around the 490, 500 mark. So there's a, not a big gap to close. Uh, that's the difficult part, really, is I don't know where my max deadlift is. Um, it's just a guess. Um, so, yeah, but they obviously definitely it isn't 470 because that was easy. But uh, all in all, my body's in a really good place. I'm, uh, I'm not injured. I'm going to get back training probably tomorrow. Next show on the list will probably be Glasgow, where we have the World Loglift Championships. So, I haven't been logging in a while. So I best get my finger out and uh, see if I can still lock press. But uh, I just wanted to share all that information with you all. You know, um, 
more just to show you know that these things happen behind the scenes and we have to deal with them and sometimes I want to deal with them quietly so the cops done dusted now no excuses I'm happy with how I did in fact I've been starting with how I did and uh, it's given me a real good boost going forward a lot of confidence so thanks again for everyone's support it's been amazing and hopefully we can get more YouTube content going now too thanks guys Oh, and a quick reminder, guys, my uh, new website is now working, www.grahamhicks.co.uk. Very slowly going to start selling all grass through there, um, and two t-shirts, hoodies, um, crop tops. Slowly but surely, the process will build, but it's there, so please feel free to take a look. Any suggestions or pictures that you might want um, for all graphs? handy. Um, again, I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you.